what's going on everybody, it's Co-op Kaiser Faust, and welcome back to a brand new video. I apologize for not uploading for a few days, uh, I had no keyboard so I couldn't have uploaded, but we're finally back, and here I have what is probably my new favorite keyboard. This is the Royal Clutch RK61. Um, this is just the backlit one, it's not the RGB, but this is a fantastic little 60% keyboard. It comes with either brown, blue, or red switches. Uh, mine came with red switches, but I just recently switched it out for the Echo Vintage Whites. So I'll be doing a separate review on those switches after I've gotten comfortable with them. But uh, since I just got this board, let's give it like an initial review. So first thing that I think is super important is aesthetics, because um, obviously uh, aesthetics at the end of the day is what makes a pro gamer a pro gamer. I think this thing looks fucking fantastic. Um, the, the ice white, the blue, like that sort of aesthetic looks really nice. This black keycap here, that's an extra one that I took from another keyboard, but overall just the white and blue aesthetic is super nice and, uh, I'd highly recommend it for anybody who likes this sort of aesthetic. Um, two, let's talk about the keycaps themselves. They are ABS, so they will get kind of shiny after a while. Um, in terms of sound, they sound really good. Uh, the font's pretty good. I don't like how the F indicators on these are. Why is that one on? Oh shit. Just realized I made an oopsie. That's. <laughs> Fuck. Oh no. Oh no. How did this happen? Okay. Well, that happened. All right, well, back to what we were doing. These keycaps, uh, they're pretty all right, they're especially for ABS, but like I said earlier, the ABS does eventually get shiny. That's just something that happens to ABS plastic. So I would highly recommend for anybody that bugs them, just get PBT keycaps or whatever it's called. But of course they aren't lubed and B, the actuation force is a little heavy for a linear switch, but not bad. Not by a long shot. Anyway, I'm done fucking talking because I suck at talking, so let's play some video games. We're just going to be doing some COD World War II multiplayer against some bots because, uh, well, I don't feel like playing against uh, actual people right now because I'm really fucking tired. Now, something that I would like to address is a lot of people have an issue with the tight key grouping on this board and just how condensed it all is, but I, I think that's a massive plus for me. Um, just... I'm not sure why, I really like the way that this looks. It's super clean and all the keys being close together is just kind of nice. Uh, especially uh, if you play like any sort of like Minecraft PvP occasionally. I know, cringe your ass off, I don't care. Uh, ratio. So yeah, I think the first thing that I really like about this board is that it's not super loud. Because the last board that I had before this one was the uh, Redragon K552. And that poor thing had blue switches in it. So that was <laughs> that was an adventure to say the least. It is a little bit clicky. But again, that's because the ABS keycaps. And uh, and also because uh, the, the board is a little bit hollow for, uh, for how small it is. Like if you just take it and just... Okay, hold on. Yeah. You just take it and just tap the bottom. It's a little hollow in some places, so uh, I'll probably end up modding this guy, like putting some flex seal in it and shit. So leave a like if you don't want to see that. Alrighty, well anyways, if you guys enjoyed that video, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, just I had a ton of fun making this. I'm super happy with this keyboard and I'm excited to do some mods to it in the future. And uh, if you want to see more of those, go ahead and leave a like. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. Tell me what you liked about the video in the comments section down below. I love reading the comments and they help out the algorithm. And uh, yeah, I'll leave you guys with this typing test. Later.